2018 Dodge Grand Caravan Review. The Grand Caravan is wonderful for a family on a tight budget, but we advise investing in arrival whenever you can. If prices to the latest and greatest crop of minivans seem slightly rich on your tastes, you are in luck. The 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan isn't newest kid in the street, however it is tempting offer of safe family transportation cheaply might be enough to sway you over its higher priced rivals. Like other minivans, the Grand Caravan enjoys superior third row accommodations and cargo capacity as compared to most three row SUVs. One in the Grand Caravan's defining features is its available stow and go seating arrangement. As opposed to other minivans which need removing the second row seats to optimize cargo space, the Grand Caravan's second row captain's chairs fold neatly into storage bins below the floorboards. With the third row bench also stowed, this makes a nearly flat load surface for carrying large items. Along using its flexible seating and cargo situation, the Grand Caravan's value-oriented costs will undoubtedly win lots of fans. You will probably be paying a value, however, once you pick the Grand Caravan over newer models. The Grand Caravan was last fully redesigned in 2008, plus it feels positively ancient from when driving. Low-quality plastics run rampant through the cabin, the touchscreen strategy is tremendously outdated, as well as its powertrain and suspension tuning are not as refined as those on other minivans. Most importantly, the signature stow and go seating uses fixed latch points onto the floor, and so the second row doesn't slide for passenger comfort. If the lowest price could be the guiding aspect in your minivan purchasing decision, you can likely find the 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan to become satisfying choice. But if you could have slightly bigger budgets, another vehicles within this segment are worth considering instead. What's new? The Dodge Grand Caravan is unchanged for 2018. Make no bones regarding it, the allure with the 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan lies solely to use affordable pricing. That said, we'd skip at night rather basic say and select the mid-level say plus. That way you obtain the benefit with the Grand Caravan's other competitive advantage the second row stow and go seats alongside modern necessities for example Bluetooth and automatic headlights. The leather wrapped leader and upgraded cloth also help downplay the Grand Caravan's otherwise cheap feeling interior. Trim levels and features. The budget-friendly, seven passenger Dodge Grand Caravan is sold in four trim levels, say, say plus, SXT and GT. All Grand Caravans employ a 3.6-litre V6 283 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The SAIS standard features list includes 17-inch steel wheels, heated mirrors, remote locking and unlocking, trees and climate control with rear air conditioning, cruise control, rear view camera, a tilt handless coping tire with audio controls a conversation mirror, a second row bench seat and full power accessories. Entertainment also comes in the form of a six-speaker stereo audio with a CD player with an auxiliary audio jack, controlled by using a 6.5-inch touchscreen display. The say could be ordered using the Uconnect Hands Free Group package, which adds an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, a leather-wrapped leader and shifter, satellite radio, a USB port and Bluetooth audio and make contact with connectivity. Second row captain's chairs are an optional upgrade and gives the stow and go fold into floor feature. The say plus comes together with the above equipment as standard for example the captain's chairs, plus 17 inch alloy wheels, automatic headlights, fog lights, black exterior styling elements, remote engine start a front floor console and upgraded upholstery and trim. The Grand Caravan SXT added features including chrome exterior trim, roof rails, power sliding rear doors, an electricity liftgate, 
a more substantial floor console, leather upholstery with suede inserts, with an 8-way power driver seat with tower power lumbar adjustment. The SXT offers two notable options packages. The black top package retains the Says black exterior trim and deletes the top rack, as the considerably more featureric driver convenience group package adds a rear overhead console, an overhead storage bin, automatic climate control, a heated controls, heated front seats, ambient lighting, and second and third row sunshades. The range topping Grand Caravan may be the GT. It takes the typical content through the SXT together with the driver convenience group without the chrome and roof rails and adds a body cold grille, a performance attuned suspension, different wheels, black interior accents, a motorist information center, a 115 volt household style outlet, for leather seating, an 8 way power passenger seat, heated second row seats, navigation, voice controls along with an upgraded 9 speaker speakers. Different trims go for access to special options packages. All models could be ordered that has a rear seat entertainment system, which bundles the GT's touchscreen using a 9 inch overhead screen, an HDMI input, satellite radio, two USB charging ports and also a 115 volt power outlet. The Gdenly Safety Sphere Group adds rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert. The Trailer Tow Group, which adds a hitch, wiring harness and load leveling feature, can be Gdenly. Trim Tested Each vehicle typically is available in multiple versions which might be fundamentally similar. The S on this review use our full test with the 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan SXT 3.6 liters V6, 6 speed automatic, FWD. Driving The Grand Caravan is adequate coming from a performance perspective, which can be all you really need from the minivan. Though it does little truly wrong from driving. It lacks refinement within its powertrain and suspension tuning in accordance with its competition. Acceleration The Grand Caravan hits 60 in 8.0 seconds, which can be slower than other top minivans. The Grand Caravan offers manual gear selection, however the shifter's location next towards the instrument panel makes it a bit awkward to work with. Braking the Grand Caravan's stopping distance from 60 miles per hour to zero can also be average for that segment, even so the significant amount of nosedive and increasingly mushy brake pedal will not be. Thankfully, this matter doesn't arise in normal driving. Steering There's enough information available through the tire to prudently guide this van. Steering weight and feedback, though not substantial are appropriate with the segment. Handling Instrumented testing shows the Grand Caravan's road holding abilities take par which consists of competition. During normal use, the van is simple to handle and not nimble. Drivability We observed gear hunting on a six-speed automatic transmission in common situations. The Grand Caravan's throttle calibration is just a little jumpy, too. Overall, though, they are nitpicks which most drivers will adjust or drive around. Comfort This is really a minivan with plenty of luxuries and features to manage all day drives. The ride comfort is acceptable, as well as interior is full of comfort enhancing amenities. Seat Comfort Seat comfort, especially in the first two rows, is superb. The third row's seat bottom is tilted with a high angle that will bother some occupants. Ride comfort. The Grand Caravan sticks for the road fairly well. As in most minivans, comfort can be a priority. You is going to be comfortable on long drives in the first or second row easily. Noise and vibration. Levels of road and wind noise have reached or greater than segment standards. This Grand Caravan didn't exhibit any rattles. 
but its complex second row seats make us wonder if are going to rattle free in five years. Interior The Grand Caravan's interior flexibility is its biggest strength. Once you walk into the cabin, there are fears ample passenger room throughout. Ease of usage The primary controls, together with the exception with the bizarre dash-mounted shifter, are typical easy make use of and reach. The secondary controls, such as climate control knobs, fall watchily available. Getting and jetting out. The third and fourth rows offer average easier entry. Third row access is superb thanks to second row seats that fold, tumble and slide inward. Roominess. The Grand Caravan uses its space well. From front seat headroom to third row legroom. There's ample space everywhere. Visibility Overall visibility is a great one, but rear quarter visibility is marginally inhibited because of the third row headrests, though they might be flipped down. Quality There's less focus on quality details within the Grand Caravan than in the Japanese and Korean competition. Though some materials are high quality, they are matched with large swaths of plastic trim. We question the durability on the complex second row seats. Utility The Stow and Go second row seats are segment leading with regards to functionality. Manual operation in the third row is a bit busy but is useful. And Thea's massive storage within the second row floor should you not need to stow the seats. Yeah. <laughs>